beast right there, boys. Hey guys, welcome back to Jody Queen Fishing. Today I'm going to show you three more things that you're going to need for tournament fishing. They're part of my must-haves. Now this is a class 3 PFD, which means, uh, you know, it will it will float you. If you're laying back, it'll keep your head in, in an upright position so you can breathe. Now if you're unconscious or something like that, it won't right you if you fall face down into the water. But that's not what it's designed for. This is good for canoeing, you know, uh, hunting out of a boat, sailing, or whatever. But it is really good for kayaking. And one of the reasons is the way it's cut in the back, this usually rests above the seat. So it's not pushing you forward, and it's a lot more comfortable in most kayaks. Uh, it's got breathable material in the, breathable material in the back. Uh, they're not real hot in the summertime. They have plenty of pockets on them. Now on this one I have my knife here in case you get tangled, if you get thrown from your boat, you get tangled up in line or something like that. This is good to have with you uh, to, uh, to cut yourself loose. You're also required to have a whistle in most states now. Uh, this is so you can be located or you can send out a warning. So this is the class three, and you can pick these up at most any dealers. I get mine from Fishing Online, of course, and uh, these are. This is by NRS. There are several companies out there that make these. Stokeless is another good one. Uh, Onyx is another good one, and I'll show you one of those here in just a second. But this is a class three PFD, and it works really well for me. And I usually wear these in the cooler months. Uh, I really do like the pockets in them because you can store stuff in them. But in the cooler months, uh, you know, say January through April or even into May is uh, around where I live, these are really good to have. Now this is a manual inflatable. It doesn't uh, hold you as high in the water as the, as the class threes do, like the one I just showed you. Uh, these are really good for summertime or in areas, you know, if you're fishing in areas where you think there's going to be a quick rescue, and I'll tell you guys, these are really good in the heat. Uh, but like I say, they will not keep you completely out of the water. They're not made for that. They're made as an assistance so that you can swim to the bank or try to get somewhere. And I don't recommend these in cold water situations. But in the summertime, I wear, I wear this one. It's also by NRS, like I say. Uh, you can, I have a whistle on it. For, which is required. So this is another choice. Now what you do is when you hit the water, you have to manually inflate these. It contains a CO2 cartridge. You pull this lever right here, it inflates the vest and gives you that, uh, that support that you need to try to get to the bank or back in your boat, back in your kayak. This is a, a, a manual and automatic. Now this is put out by Onyx. And it also has the CO2 cartridge in it. However, it also has a dissolvable tablet in it so that if it gets wet, it will automatically inflate. So if you fall in to the water, it will uh, inflate automatically. Now you can remove those tablets out of, the, out of these uh, and just use them as a manual if you want to. But they're really good. These are really good to have in the summertime also, but they don't float you quite as much as the first PFD I showed you, class three. Uh, like I say, I think they're more toward assisting you to get out of the water. Uh, they will help float you, but if you're a big guy, you know, 200 pounds or plus or something like that, I mean, it's, it's just an assist. So that, that's another type. You're gonna have to have a paddle. A lot of my tournaments are on rivers, and I grew up on the rivers, and I really like fishing the rivers. And usually you're in a, a, a boat that you can paddle, and you need a good paddle. And there's several companies out there. Werner makes a good paddle, Aquabound. My choice is the bending branches. Now this is the, uh, I think this is the Angler Classic. Yeah, this is the Angler Classic. As you can see there, it's the bending branches but it twists together and locks. 
and it's also extendable. So if you're in a wider kayak and you need a little bit wider uh, sweep, you can extend that out and use that to help. Is your fishing rod. Now this is a Cashin Icon multi-purpose. There are several rods out there that you can, to choose from, I know, and rods are really expensive. And you know, some of us have six or eight rods in the back of our kayaks. Not everybody can afford to do that. So if you're starting out, I recommend you go with a multi-purpose rod. Uh, reason being is, if you want to throw a, a spinner bait, a top water, uh, this rod will work for jigs. Uh, I've thrown crankbaits with it, but it's long enough to have a little bit of flex at the tip, and it's also got a great backbone to it, so you can, you can switch back and forth from those baits. Now, there are some technique-specific rods out there, like the chattergrass rod or a, a crankbait rod that are sp specifically designed to throw those baits. But if you're just starting out and you want to pick one rod, find you a rod that you can throw more than one bait on. And like I say, I recommend the Cashin multi-purpose rod. I, I mean, I, this rod is, I use it for just about everything. Swim jigs, it's a really good swim jig rod. So, uh, yeah, not everybody can afford a, a rod, a technique specific rod for everything. So. Get you one of these to start out with if you want, and uh, you won't be disappointed. That way you can have control over several different baits instead of just, just one bait. Get out on the water, do some fishing. Take someone with you, take someone fishing, man. There's nothing like it, especially if they've never been in a kayak before, uh, a child, uh, a veteran, uh, your family. Get them out and let them experience the outdoors in a kayak. It's just like floating on air when I get on the water. It's one of the first reactions I get when I take someone. And uh, always be safe, wear your PFD, so you can continue to get out on the water. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Leave any comments you'd like. I'll try to get back with you as soon as possible. And until next time, thanks for tuning in to Jody Queen Fishing. See you guys on the water.